<laughs> Hi. Let me try to add Lauren. Lauren. Lauren Donza. I just invited Lauren. Um, <laughs> it worked. Hello. Hey, girl. Hey. Oh my god. I was about to be like, I don't know when she's joining, so I'll just talk until she joins. But hello. She's here. Um, fun fact: we were just on Facetime. Yeah. <gasps> Wait. Five thousand eight hundred. <laughs> um, <That's> hello. Such... <laughs> Stop it. Someone goes two hundred seventeen days later. Literally. Let entertaining i know i know it's taken us a while and f okay so fun fact um we actually were gonna do this last friday and then both of us forgot like we just completely forgot she was like girl where am i supposed to go live and i was like oh yeah i think so. okay but actually i have i have an excuse i don't know if you do but i have an excuse because i got my booster the day before and i was sick in bed with a fever all day friday i was so actually i didn't choose to you have an excuse? Yeah, I was in mourning. <laughs> of what? I was in mourning. You know why. It's okay, we'll unpack her later. I was in mourning. I know why. No, I was fine. Yes, you do. Give me an A. <laughs> You're supposed to complete the rest. <laughs> I'm really thinking. If you know what, don't think too hard. This is the next letter of B. <laughs> no! Absolutely not! Never <laughs> say that again. What's the, what's the next letter? What's the next letter? It's M. <laughs> what? Shawty, it's not that complex. Oh! <laughs> you got it. You got there. <laughs> you got it. I'm really proud. Thank you, thank you. Oh, uh, okay. I think Erin yeah. is here. I think she is too. Hey, Erin. Uh, hey, Erin. Okay, wait. Do you want to answer some questions or just like? Yeah, I think that's on you though, because I don't know where that button this, is. It is on me. I was looking at him. Um. Okay. okay. The top. The top one with the most amount of likes is. What are your favorite songs? <laughs> you go first. I was gonna say you go first. I don't know. Okay, like, all time is probably, like, Island in the Sun by Weezer. And then, <laughs> what? <laughs> Please, let me be. Weezer I'm... is good. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What were you going to say? I don't know. Please I have to look at my Spotify. You want me to go look at my Spotify? No. That takes too long. Just pick a song. <laughs> um... Like, what genre? I can't, like, I'm not good at picking favorites. Please. Okay. I get it. Just say, like, Taylor Swift and call it a day. Okay. But which one? That's up to you. I'm gonna go with, um, um, <laughs> um. Why are you in utter distress? <laughs> You're like actually like favorites. I can't pick favorites. Let's say like um, "Love Story" by Taylor Swift. I don't know. A I don't classic. Know. A classic. I don't know, guys. I have too many favorites. I can't do this. This is no, stressful. Yeah. Take it. I love how like half of the questions are "What's your favorite blank?" and this is like it's taking me like five minutes to answer this one. <laughs> it's because you're a Libra Moon. The indecisiveness is really shining through. You know. And then, like, my Virgo sun is just, like, logic. Like, what's your actual favorite? And then my Aries rising is, like, okay, but, like... Follow like, your heart. Right. Yeah. So you're, like, right. at crossroads. Constantly. Right. I, no, I meant my Virgo sun is, like, what is, like, the perfect one to say is your favorite. Because right. that actually is what my thought process was. I was, like, which one should I say that'll make me sound cool? <laughs> Mine is simply, what is the song that I listen to when I'm taking off on an airplane? for no reason to just to be dramatic like you know that girl who's like i'm literally like leaving my hometown like le like bella swan okay don't you know you've done that I, you've all done something like that we i have to i was gonna say my one that i did most recently the last plane ride that i went on was to new york and i right. when i was 
taken off to go to New York, the like airplane like dimmed the lights and it was like blue lighting and it was like all cute and stuff. And then I was like, okay, what song do I play? Like, this is like a special moment. I'm going to New York. What was it? The Paper Rings by Taylor Swift. And it was actually I it would be it a great. It was great. Yeah, mine is always Island in the Sun or like probably something by the neighborhood, honestly. That's what I should have said my favorite song is. My favorite song is Reflections by the Neighborhood. Reflections is so sexy. Lauren. What? <laughs> Let me exist as I please. I, I'm sorry, but like, it's such like a good song. It is. It's just, it's a, it is a very good song. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Another, another one is what are your, what, how, I can't speak. What are you guys, <laughs> what are your guys' oh, favorite Marvel movies? Don't ask me that. Why? That's embarrassing because I literally don't know Marvel. Yeah, you do. Like I, I don't keep up with it. We know Marvel like the same level. Oh, how okay. Many, cool. how many, okay, how many Marvel movies have you seen? I can't. I don't know. You can't count. No, I just like don't know. Like I've seen, I don't like keep track. Oh, I can count. <laughs> I've seen. Okay. I've seen the all the like um. The, like, let me let me count or... and put your fingers down if you've seen them. Okay, ready? So I've seen. Captain America one, Captain America two. I don't know. The, I don't know. I've seen is. the one where it's like uh the 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 snowman. No, the snow. <laughs> Winter <laughs> Soldier. Winter Soldier. That guy. Snowman. <laughs> snowman. The snow fighter. Same thing. Winter Soldier. Whatever. Um, same difference. I saw Avengers: Age of Ultron. I saw Doctor Strange. I saw I um Captain Marvel. I saw all three spider-mans i wait, saw wait 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 wait. like you mean all three spider-man people tom holland's spider -Man. i've seen the first one i've seen the isn't there th th i've seen the second one i haven't seen no way home yet don't spoil it you spoil it i kick you in the throat i would never spoil it i would never that That's was so most of the people in this live stream i know you wouldn't do that to me okay okay yeah, no, no spoilers in the comments, please. Um, what else have I seen? Um, 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 um. oh, someone said Black Widow. I saw, oh, I haven't seen Black Widow actually. Where have I? We have to watch it together. We will. Okay, I I have seen Guardians of the Galaxy. That's Marvel. Oh, right? oh, have, are the Infinity War movies Marvel? I haven't seen any of those. <gasps> I have. I've seen the Infinity War and the Endgame thing. Ant Man. I, I love Paul Rudd so much. Okay, I've seen nine Marvel movies. I've seen eight. That took me way too long. I was <laughs> like, I, I didn't know how many going up. It took me a sec. Give me, give me a break. Fine. So, anyways, do any of you know what the app Hogwarts Mystery is? Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, I'm like obsessed with it and there's this one character who's like your enemy or whatever and her name is Marula and she's like really annoying and she tried to transfigure herself into a thunderbird but she messed up and she transferred figured herself into a flobber worm and then I was like, oh my god, it was really embarrassing for her. So then I tried to help her though because I'm a good person but then she turned into a puff skin. What's a puff? What's that? It's a puffy little like cotton ball but it's an animal and then yeah. Oh, the cute ones? Yes. That's she cute. Really cute. It was great. That was very cute. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them your theory about the M and M. What? Your M and M theory. I'm not gonna tell them. Oh, okay. Do you want me, or do we not want to talk about mm -hmm. it? No, we don't have to talk about it. All All I can say though is that mini M and M's ten times better than regular. And if oh, anybody disagrees, if anybody disagrees, you guys need to eat mini M and M's and think about your life decisions. That's a very valid thing to say. Thank you. I yeah. also no. I agree. The regular M and M's are like meh. they're not atrocious. They're, like, they're not like don't have the right ratio of chocolate to like candy. But many M and M's do, and they're just like it's the same ratio, just different size. But like no, we go with that. No, it's not. It's not the same ratio because they don't just like shrink it down. It's like when you shrink it down, you shrink down the amount of chocolate too. But then it's like you still have the same level of like, right. candy coating. Now like, we're getting, like the density and the mass. No, but okay, okay, no, no, no. But listen. Like, it's even, <laughs> how do I explain this? Okay, so, right. so if you have, like, a regular M&M, &M, it's, like, five times the size of this, right? That and looks it's like M&M. &M. This is not a regular M&M. &M. 
why does that not look like the how why I think I had like a mental like break because I thought the mini ones were like literally they they're really small Lauren like that's small oh regular M&Ms are I don't have any reference <laughs> they're bigger than that uh, but it's like my hair it's not like a regular Reese's peanut butter cup and then you compare it to like a mini Reese's peanut butter cup, it's different ratio because there's more peanut butter in a Reese's peanut butter cup than there are in a mini ones. And it's more chocolate in a regular amount than there are in the mini ones. Pause. Do you like Reese's Pieces? You do, right? I do, but I like Reese's peanut butter cups better. Reese's Pieces are the, are the worst thing to ever be made. Like, ever. They're literally disgraceful. They're disgusting. That's really mean, Lauren. That actually kind of hurts my feelings. Are you a Reese's Pieces? I like them. They used to be my favorite candy. That's like saying your favorite candy is like yeah, almond. Yeah, Erin agrees. Erin says Reese's Pieces are my favorite candy ever, Lauren. I, I literally you. don't see any comments. Oh, I just saw Erin. Um, oh, Erin says very- she hates me. Erin, hate is a strong word. <laughs> That's what my mom would say. My favorite candy. I don't have one. But definitely not Reese's Pieces. Do you like Sour Patch Kids? I do. They're pretty baller. They are pretty baller. Have you ever? (gasps) Okay. So I used to go to the movie theater a lot with my mom. Like every single... Every single weekend. Um, and we would always get the same thing. We'd get popcorn, butter, salted popcorn, and Sour Patch Kids. And if you take the Sour Patch Kids and you put them into the popcorn mix and you have popcorn and Sour Patch Kids at the same time, so good. I can see you doing that with, like, M&M's, but Sour Patch No, 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 Sour Patch Kids. You have to try it. It's actually so good. When I was in the theater with my mom, she made me bring a bag of carrots. <laughs> Sometimes I would get a lollipop if I was if I behaved. Carrots. Yeah, I can just <laughs> imagine. How, how old were you? Like, like eight, eight. Okay, like eight-year-old Lauren sitting in the movie theater, <laughs> munching on a carrot, and that was definitely more disruptive than like a song. <laughs> I would like carefully bite into it because I didn't want to make any noise. So I'd be like, that was so. Why did I just growl? I'm sorry. Forgive. <laughs> you fully just growled. Wait, I want to find it like a carrot filter now. That's a thing. Wait, I don't know. Do that. You click on the little Girl. thing. <laughs> Wait. Oh, that one's nice. I. Oh. <laughs> Um, I didn't know you could do- Oh! <laughs> that was cute. That is atrocious. Oh my god! Why so many fisheye ones? Don't ask me! Are these your <laughs> saved ones? Oh, let's nope. see what character I am. Oh, you're the bunny. I do I it, look like that. Like, I can whistle. Ooh. I can't whistle. Which character I am I? It's not going to work. You have to record. I, I, I. That's kind of slay. Oh my god, why isn't this? Why does she have a good one? This isn't fair. Slay. Wait, slay. why do you have good ones? I have one from like 2015. What is that? Literally, I, you, ah, <laughs> wait, 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 you mean these are saved? Yeah, like, mine are, like, saved <laughs> ones. Literally, like, leave me alone. That is not fair. This is atrocious. Don't test on me. Oh, animal cruelty. Wait, no, we don't want animal cruelty. The way I said that made it sound like I do, but I don't. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Intrusive thoughts. <laughs> me, me when I'm Elsa. Ooh, you would be Elsa. Are we Elsa and Anna? I hate to break it to you, but I actually already have an Anna to my Elsa. If and it's Aaron. Cry. She just looks too much like Anna. You could be 
You could be Kristoff. <laughs> literally exit now. Literally go. Literally leave. End this live <laughs> right now. <laughs> you did not just call me Kristoff. I <laughs> love Kristoff. To a He's man? Like He's my favorite character. He has the best songs. It's not a good time to lie. I'm not lying. I love I see right through you. I see right through you. The fact that you still have the filter on right now. I don't know how to get rid of it. I don't know how to. I don't know how to. Do... Oh. Wait. Did I do it? Yeah. All right. Also, do you see comments? I don't. Yeah, I see comments. Oh. Oh. Read? Yeah, somebody said you can be Olaf. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> you told me to read them. <laughs> so not about being me. Cast Lauren as Kristoff. Yes, I agree. I disagree. Lauren, you should be Olaf. That's I unconsensual agree. casting. <laughs> like, I didn't sign up for that. You didn't sign the contract? I thought you did. <laughs> or did you sign the NDA and you can't say that you signed the contract? I would never sign a contract to be a snowman. <laughs> that is true. Really, I don't see any. Mark comments. your words. One day you will be a snowman in the movie. Can you imagine if I'm cast as like snowman number three? Because you know I wouldn't be number one. <laughs> School play energy. I uh, was more like a tree. I was a munchkin at one point, though. Lauren. <laughs> Lauren should be the guy that runs the little cabin store. <laughs> Is this what you really think of me? Am I just I... a side character to you? <laughs> somebody said, okay, okay, I, okay, somebody said Lauren Kristoff is hot, what do you mean? And I'm Christoph man. Kristoff is a great boyfriend to Anna. And don't I want to be the boy. <laughs> I don't want to be a boy. You can be their daughter. Because then Aaron would be your mom. They don't have a kid. You don't know that? I'm a non-existent no. character now. Now no. I don't even exist. You don't know about the Frozen Cinematic Universe? <laughs> what if I do? Hey, yo, has anyone, at least nobody said I look like the little wizard, like, guy, right? Like, the little, like, troll? Who? The troll. Like, the actual troll that, like, sings the Fixer Upper song? I don't when know. Oh, like, about Frozen? <laughs> the troll that's, like, don't, like, the warning, the troll that, like, warns them. Yeah, the Fixer Upper guy. Sure. No one's cast me as that one, right? No, not that I've seen it. I bet they're gonna start saying that. Guys, Lorna Pons, I will literally throw you out of a window. <laughs> Say it again. I dare you. Actually, don't. Oh, also, why is nothing updating? Shay, this is really annoying. I can't see any comments. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Okay, Aaron keeps saying Lauren is Honey Marin. Who is that? Is Aaron giving me, like, non-existent characters again? No, I feel like that's a real thing. I just, like, don't know who that is. I guess I don't know. Well, okay, wait. Is it from Frozen or is this, like, a different thing? Because I think I'm thinking in terms of Frozen and I'm just, like... Right. I am, too. Is that Lauren, do you want to Google? Do you have your computer nearby? Because I don't. I'd have to go to oh, my bed. Dead. It died in class when I was online shopping. <laughs> Guys, I was online shopping in science class, and my teacher was like, leather pants? Those are nice. And I was like, he goes, actually, it's fine. Like, I finished my work. I was done. Like, I finished my work, because I'm a good student, and I'm, like, intelligent, big-brained. And so I finished my work, so I was like, I might as well, like, online shop. So I was just looking at, like, these pants, and he, he thought the pants were cool. <laughs> That's the whole story. You, can you explain what you were saying to me earlier that was, like, kind of hurtful? <laughs> So, um, Honeyman is a character in Frozen 2. Oh, okay. I well, watched Frozen 2. Huh? I watched Frozen 2. I don't recall. Who did I? I don't remember her. I guess Aaron knows more so about... The name is Honey Marin. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, Shay, um, 
explain. <laughs> what I was explaining, Lauren was telling me a story Somebody that me at my door. Um, see? Do you need to answer? Do you need to put it on mute? Ah, see. Sí. Es bueno. De nada. Um, Lauren was telling me a story on FaceTime right before this. And I'm not going to expose her because it involves real life people. So we're not going to talk about it. Um, but I saw this TikTok that was kind of making fun of like a hypothetical person. And it was this girl who was like explaining a story and it was like super dramatic and engaging and funny. But then there's like no end. It's just like, and then I was like, oh my God, it, that's Charlie. And then she was like, oh my God, yeah. And then, like, that was the end of the TikTok. That was the end of the story. I mean, everything I have to say in story format. I'm sorry. It makes it more engaging. No, it was great. Just, it was really funny because there was no, like, there end to the story. But telling it made it sound like there would be. And it was really, it was a really great engaging story up until the end. Oh, I keep dropping everything. <laughs> anyway, so Lauren is the that turns everything into a story and it's really funny that's all that was the point thanks yeah pretty much i don't think people are gonna understand what i'm saying that's oh fine. why is it glitching <laughs> what You're... why are you laughing at me stop <laughs> you had... You had, like, pixels on your face, but then you moved, and it was, like, closer. So there were, like, pixels of you back here, but then on the front of your face, there was, like, pixels of your face up close. I don't know if anybody else saw that, but that was really funny. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, it was my Wi-Fi? Probably. Oh, you mean I was normal, but you weren't? Hmm. Funny. I, I don't know. Karma for literally bullying me. Sorry, I was just laughing because it looked funny. You're allowed. It's okay. Yo, in a school, there were protests. Yes. By the anti-maskers and vaxxers. Yes. Why did you say it like that? Sorry, I'm reading, yeah. I'm reading the questions. Girl, can you read them to me because I cannot see anything? Somebody said, what color is your toothbrush? Teal orange i think it's orange it's orange it's yeah it's orange why is that why do people want to know what our toothbrush looks like okay everybody is quirky in their own way okay i have an orange <laughs> mine's teal if you could have any superpower what would it be my superpower would to would be Ooh, sorry, you go first. No, you can go. I have two. Either flight, because, like, you know, or, um, like, being able to just, like, apparate anywhere. Like, I'm just, like, blink. Ooh, I'm in Paris. Blink. Ooh, I'm in the <laughs> you mean telephone? I love yeah, that one. Water version. Wait, Aaron? I don't see any comments. I see nothing. Oh, wait. Was I unpaused? You were frozen, yeah. Oh, I was looking at the picture of the character that Erin was saying you look like, and you do look like her. And this is a good thing, because she's very pretty, and you do look a lot like her. I'm not gonna look at it right now, but I will later. Um, what I was laughing at is that you used the Harry Potter term for teleporting. You said Sorry. Apparate. I forgot what the regular one was, so I just had to improvise. No, it's okay. Anyway, my superpower would be to stop caring about what other people think of me <laughs> because you know that is so valid because or i would like or like to always be productive that'd be fun Ooh. i'm productive a lot of the time but i yeah, also but procrastination pro is like an illness <laughs> i procrastinate a lot i know you do but so do i it's fine <laughs> Not even like you just I know you do. <laughs> Except I'm worried about you because you're developing the same caffeine addiction that I have. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. I only have four <laughs> coffees a day. It's fine. I had two <laughs> coffees a day. It's okay. Fine. I, had, I didn't have coffee today. I had a yerba <gasps> today. 
I love yerba mates. I had one yesterday, but I had favorite flavor. Go. Cranberry pomegranate. Valid. Revelberry. Or, or classical. Revelberry is so yum. But I like the sparkling ones because I like sparkling things. I like the regular ones. I do like the sparkling ones, though. You know, when we had our first ever picnic, we had the sparkling ones together. I, oh, guys, our first ever picnic was over a year ago now. That's really weird. That's, like, terrifying. Besties for the besties. So true. <laughs> what was that? So true. <laughs> So true. I just realized everything's frozen. The the watcher count has been stuck at the same number this whole time. Oh. How many people are here? Actually, okay, fun fact that happened to me the last time I joined somebody's live. If you want, you can leave and rejoin to see if it does anything. Will I then see, like, people's comments? Maybe. I don't know. That could be pretty baller. Wait, okay, I'll do that. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm returning. Okay, be back soon. Okay. I'm gonna try to get Okay, I have to... Oh, my phone's being weird. I have to invite her again. Okay. Hi, guys. Can you see them? Oh, my God. Yes. <gasps> Wait, yeah. this is amazing. Incredible, beautiful, gorgeous. How wonderful. Isn't it so great to see people's comments? I love it. Right? Well, hi, guys. I can see you all now. <laughs> the way you're moving... I'm, like, backed up. Huh? I think I'm, like backed up like I think I'm from a while ago because someone just said Lauren is my favorite Hans maybe people are just still on the topic <laughs> maybe I don't know someone... what do you say now people are saying like hi Lauren I see hi Lauren queen I say yeah I... oh You're... oh we on the same page people are just still on the topic of you as Hans I just started cutting somebody said Lauren what happened to you running your own Twitter account Guys, okay, hear me out. I tried to take over it. Take, take it over. I did. Um, my mother runs it. And you see, I don't have the patience or the energy to run three social media accounts. Like, I just like, can't do it. Like, I just don't feel like it. Um, so I let her handle it. And I think that was a mistake. Like, I think that was an error. Like, a severe error. Because she tweets really, really controversial things all the time. Oh, oh she just makes you sound like you're a millennial. No, she tweets really controversial things all the time. She got me into an argument. She got me haters. I said, Mom. <gasps> people were mad at me for liking the vaccine. And I was like. They were like, you are a brainwashed little white girl. And I was like, all right. Wait, wait. Somebody said, Lauren, Mama Robin called your grandma the goat. <laughs> I saw that. Bree sent me a screenshot. And I was like, um, I think I need to call it a day. Somebody said pose for a screenshot. <laughs> I don't know why I stuck my tongue out like that. Anyway. I, yeah, anyway. Anyway, basically, I just, I've given up on it. I don't care about taking it over. Like, I don't, I literally can't. There's a lot going on. I'm going to move settings. <laughs> There's just a lot of people that like to infiltrate. <laughs> What's going on? I don't know. Is it your sister? It wasn't even my sister, but we're going into her room because she is not in this current location. That's wonderful. This lighting is atrocious. Hello? Can you see me? Uh, yes. I can't with my hair, but alas. Oh, nice filter. Thank you. Smiley. Smiley. You should put one on. It can't, you should put on, like, fairy wings. I can't. I don't have that. <laughs> I, do you want to see what I have? <laughs> no, no. I know I know what you have. Trust me. Do you? Do you want to see? I do. No, actually. Um. <gasps> oh, my God. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, wait. Go up, like, really close. Wait, put the fisheye one again and go up, like, really close. Wait, 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 Please don't make me do this. Wait. No, wait. Wait. Oh. Where is it? I literally can't. What is this filter? This is so bad. Oh, all right, Shay. Oh. I need to get rid of these. 
I think about it every night and day. I'm addicted. Oh, that song is stuck in my brain. I'm so in the mood for Valentine's Day. I like, hate Valentine's Day. I think it deserves to die. It's like one of my favorite holidays. <laughs> okay, but like, everyone makes you feel so lonely. No. Lauren, hot take. You don't have to be in a relationship to enjoy Valentine's Day. True, but I don't think I enjoy it anyway. Like, even if, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. There's something about spending an entire day experiencing other people's PDA bars and just, like... <laughs> when Lauren, a hater of love. Literally. Like, I literally just don't. No, not, like, but, like, a whole day for, like, wearing the color pink and hearts and candy and, like, when you go into, like, any drugstore or grocery store, they have, like, stuffed animals everywhere and, like, cute candy, and it, it's great. That's so stressful. You? <laughs> Aaron said, Lauren, you're just a Gemini Venus. I hate it! Somebody trade with me, please! It's literally the worst thing ever! No. Wait, Shay, what's your Venus sign? Libra. I don't think murder is, like, a crime. <laughs> because that is not fair. I'm feeling unsafe right now. You should feel threatened. This is a threat. I literally can't. Just, I literally experience such detachment. It's an issue. Learn to love yourself. Is this a self-help book, but, like, live? Anyway, what's your favorite ice cream color, Lauren? <laughs> color. What? Green. What's your favorite ice cream Wait, green? why are people saying Lauren what? What did I say? I think they're the murder thing. Yeah, I think about the murder uh, thing. Um, but wait, what's your favorite ice cream flavor, not color? Either chocolate, probably chocolate chip cookie dough. Okay, valid. That's Reese's. Mine is coffee or mint chocolate chip. Very valid as well. I remember when I was a child, I would play bingo at my grandma's retirement home and I'd get coffee ice cream after. And then we would do that like all the time and we'd get blintzes. And then we stopped when she died. Great grandma. She was like 95. She was an icon. I'm glad she had memories with you of you playing mm -hmm. bingo and eating ice cream that's wonderful it was she would steal the blintzes she would smuggle them into her purse <laughs> literally she would smuggle them she had like it was disgusting there were like smushy blintzes in her purse and she was like guys look and i was like bubby no it's fine i think it's like a rite of passage for all grandmas to love coffee ice cream because my grandma loves coffee ice cream too. And I feel like when I'm a grandma, I'm gonna love coffee ice cream even more than I love coffee ice cream now. I can just imagine you as a little old lady. Let's not imagine this. You're anymore. so cute and tiny Let's... and like brittle. <laughs> you're... <laughs> you're so frail. I can imagine you now. All tiny and like gray and wrinkly. Aww. Thanks. Imagine you with a face tattoo. <laughs> What? I'm, just, I'm imagining all the versions of Shay. Punk Shay, tatted up with a sleeve. Um, like, soft girl Shay, with, like, your pink hair moment. That already I, What? That already exists. I know, I'm saying, which was a moment. Uh, emo Shay, like, the big eyeliner, black, black hair. Oh my god, black hair. Fishnets I... little thing. Old Lady Shay, wrinkles and everything. Imagine you as an infant. I want to hold all my friends as infants. We don't need to imagine that. That did exist, Lauren. No, but, like, I'm trying to imagine, like, holding you as an infant. You saw I was an infant, right? Yes, and I'm imagining holding you as one. But then we wouldn't be friends, because then you're, like, 17 years older than me. Shay, we don't have to make everything literal. <laughs> Sorry, I'm a Virgo. Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. 
We want emo Shay. Shay, are you ever gonna dye your hair black? Probably not. Why'd you say it like that? I like I I I'm a natural blonde. Like I don't feel like black hair would suit me. You're right. I don't know. I don't think it would. <laughs> that was so mean. <laughs> Either, but right? in all honesty, like, you pull off being a blonde really well. I feel like black mm -hmm. hair would be a really interesting transition. Just like I feel like I would look atrocious as a blonde. I don't think you would, but I think brown hair suits you. It's because it's what we're used to. True. You know what I mean? I can't even lie. I loved having pink hair, but I did actually miss my blonde a lot. And you only had it for, like, a week. That's not true. I had it for, like, two weeks. Oh, my God. Excuse me. Seven days off? <laughs> Oh my god, such a big difference. She's a Yeah, but I did it on New Year's Eve, and then I got rid of it. Maybe maybe I had it for like a week and a half. Yeah. Oh my god. Fun. I'll do, <laughs> Comment. do you have something against black hair, hair colorist? Excuse me? No! For me, yeah. love it on other people, but not on me. That's all. Sure. Look. No, it's People's black hair are very powerful, very intimidating. Very true. Would you like more? What? Would you like more questions? Oh yeah, hit it. Somebody said, "How are you guys?" I'm doing great. I'm very happy right now. I'm talking to That's Laura. A loaded question. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I'm doing splendidly because I wish Shay Shay. I feel like you can't be in like a bad mood when you're with your like best friends, right? No, I mean, okay, it's possible, you can't, like, but, like, shouldn't be. Precisely. Unless you have, like, diagnosed depression. Oh. <laughs> we can move on. <laughs> but, you know, you know, like, in um, storytelling or, like, in improv, for instance, when they're like, okay, so you can't have two crazy characters. You have to have, like, the one weird one and the one that's, like, a voice of reason. I feel like... I'm the voice of reason. <laughs> <laughs> that is so mean, but so true. I don't know. I mean this in the best way, because you just, like, you just say things, and I say things inside my head, but I don't say them out loud. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should work on that. <laughs> no, no, it's what makes you Forget you. Please. It's what makes you you, and I love it. Oh, thanks. I try. You're welcome. Oh. Are there, like, no comments, or is it just me? Did they glitch out again? No, they're, like, I see them, but, like, one every five minutes. No. I see them. Well, what is the, what are the masses saying? What's your zodiac signs? I'm I feel like it's hard to guess for me. No, it's not. Yeah, you take a shot, see what they say. Okay, everybody guess what Lauren's zodiac sign is. I feel like I, in, like, inhabit my zodiac sign to a T. Didn't you literally, you just posted a TikTok. Why is my friend something? I literally did, because that's how self-absorbed I am. <laughs> I'm that narcissistic. Somebody said Gemini. Very valid option. I'm a Gemini Venus. Somebody said Sagittarius, which I actually, very much. Somebody said Libra. Which I'm also rising in a Sagittarius moon, so you guys are really getting there. If you already know, don't say anything. Everybody's saying Gemini. Oh, somebody said Leo! I'm a Leo, guys. Hard to miss. But I appreciate the Gemini reference, because personally, I think they get a bad rep for no reason. I only met, like, three two fake Geminis. The rest were very normal. Because <laughs> they are normal people, you know. They're very, charming. They're very charming. Yeah. Anyway, Lauren is a Leo, and I'm a Virgo. Wow. Okay. Okay, moving on. Next question. Okay, let me find another one. You keep talking. I'll find another one. Hey, guys. While Shay searches, I'm going to keep you entertained. Uh, I will. Oh, all right. It would help if I could see the comments because I like to know what's happening and, like, be in the loop. But that's not working. So I'm just going to improvise. Um, well, now when I'm put on the spot, I don't know what to say, Shay. Book recommendations. Ooh, they both die at the end. Can you guess what happens? They live. Can you imagine? <laughs> You've been gaslit a whole book. They don't die at the end. <laughs> For real. I was like. 
Um, what's my book recommendation? Um, Red, White, and Royal Blue. I um, still haven't read that. It's in my list, though. Read it. I lent it to one of my friends. Otherwise, I'd give you my copy. You live in San Diego. How will I retrieve it? I don't know. I could, like, I could apparate. You could apparate. Um, what else? Um, Harry Potter, even though I haven't finished reading it. Oh, yeah. Did you ever finish? You were in the fourth book a year ago. Where are you now? I'm on the fifth book. Oh, we've made Very progress, guys. We've made progress. Much. And I'm gonna... So, my plan was, I was gonna read all the books, and then, like, watch the... What's the corresponding movie after I finished the first book? I was trying to use a fancy word, but I forgot it. So, I started this in middle school. <laughs> I'm in 11th grade. Um... Basically, I'm a very busy person. I don't have time for reading. But basically, so I got up to the fourth book, and then I watched the fourth book, and then now it's taken me forever to get through the fifth book just because I, like, I don't have time. But also, I've, I, I kind of have realized that I think I put off reading Harry Potter because, like, I could have been finished with it in a year. I could have been – I could have read all the books in a year, you know? Like, I, I could easily be done with it. But I think a huge part of me doesn't want to be done with the series – Cause then that's sad. Cause then it's like sad yeah, the way you. Oh wait. Yeah, for the first time ever again, and so I like want to be done with it. And it's the same thing with reading all the young dudes because I still haven't finished it, and I've read it for over a year, now, and I just like, I just don't want to be done with it, and so. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna give up on my goal of reading all the books first, and I think I'm just gonna watch the movies because I want to watch the reunion. Wait. You still haven't seen all the movies? Lauren? Lauren, we've been over this. I, I thought I was, like, given them no, by now. No, 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 no. Listen, no, no, no. a whole Harry Potter fanatic, and you no, hadn't even... No, no, listen, I have seen all the movies, but I saw them when I was younger when they first came out, so I don't remember every detail of the later ones. All right, all right. I'll let it so, slide. All them, now. like, I don't remember them. But I do remember a lot, but I'm not going to talk about it in case anybody has seen or hasn't seen them even though they've That's been out for a really long time how long have they been out for like 30 years 20 20 no 30 no 20 20 no 20 <laughs> <laughs> it was the harry potter 20th reunion so are you sure it was in the 30th reunion yes in the comments please say. it was 20. why don't you believe me because like, did they not come out? They came out in the early 2000s. Yeah. Oh, 20. Okay. I guess I'm right, guys. I'm right. 32. I know. I thought that, like, some of them <laughs> came out in the 90s, but that's when the, the books came out, I think. Yeah. Yes. I can do math, everybody. No, you can't. Yes, I can. Lauren, I'm, like, 99% sure I got an A on my last math test. Thank you very much. So. Wait, what math are you in this year? It's integrated math three. I don't know. <laughs> it's, like, algebra. In, in integrated math three? I don't know. It's not, like, pre-calc, trig, calculus. No, it's All right. Like on integrated math two, integrated math three, and then you do pre-calc, and then calc. So you're gonna do pre-calc senior? No, year. <laughs> I'm not taking math next year. Are, I don't graduate with algebra two. It's not algebra two. It's integrated math three. <laughs> but 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 before pre-calc is algebra two. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> taking math this year before because I finished pre-calc. So I was like, I'm not doing that. Okay, so what's what's your freshman year math? Geometry. And then algebra one, and then algebra two. No, then algebra two. Algebra one is eighth grade. Wait, so then what's sophomore year? Algebra 2. Then what's junior year? Pre-calc slash trigonometry. Then calculus or statistics. Oh. Or a lot of people, some people, though, um, take algebra 1, ninth grade, uh, geometry 10th, algebra 2, junior year, pre-calc, senior year. Or I guess I was, like, <laughs> going to math. And I'm not even good at it. Y'all, somebody said algebra one is not eighth grade. Lauren, you're just 
Yes, it is. Okay, well, for me, it was. <laughs> no, I know people that were in geometry in eighth grade. Okay, well, I'm not in advanced math. I'm in regular math. Um, but for but me, I was in what was considered regular math, so I guess. Oh. Wait, wait, but you, so were you just, like, in regular math classes, but you started them, like, a year early? No, I was at the same pace as everyone else. If you were in advanced math, you took geometry in eighth grade in my school. Dang. So right. I was in like, algebra one in eighth grade, and then geometry in ninth grade, and then algebra two in tenth grade, and then pre-calc in junior year, and now I'm not doing math because I said no more. Yeah, so you only need, like, you only need three years of math in high school. Yeah graduate and to get into college and so if I don't have to take math next year I'm not going to so. exactly and I got into college so I'm fine <laughs> yeah and I, I basically what I would be taking next year is talk anyway and I that oh like a really hard time my neck was just crunching it was brutal but I would give you my notes and I would save you <laughs> thanks I'd just rather take more English classes I love English I love English so much. We get to do the most fun project in two weeks. We get to make a trailer based on a short story. <gasps> and yes, it hasn't been assigned. But yes, I already did the assignment. <laughs> I like wrote the entire script already. Um, just I'm a TA, like a teacher's assistant. So my teacher will just tell me everything in advance. That's wonderful. Um, and it was wonderful. <laughs> so my group is going to be wonderful. Wait, Lauren, you're a teacher's assistant for your own class? No, I'm a teacher's assistant for freshmen and sophomores. Oh, okay. But she just tells me everything about everything. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a jump scare and a half. That was a whole jump scare. Um, yeah, no, I'm not a teacher's assistant for my own grade. That would be weird. Because then everyone would think I was, like, condescending. You know what I mean? Very confused about that. Yeah. Hang on. I need to, I want to get water, but I don't want to, like, walk around. Show I, I'm going to turn off my camera. Can you see oh. me? No. <laughs> this is my profile picture, right? Yes. That's wonderful. I didn't know you could turn off your camera on a live stream. It's the little button at the top. I'm learning new things every day. Also, so embarrassing is that everything's frozen. So I see no comments. I see no, I see nothing. So if you guys are talking to me. Dang, your phone doesn't like you. Clearly. Didn't yours just break? Yeah, I have a different one now. Which one? iPhone 12. <gasps> That's because, so this one has more storage, which you know, yeah, it's a huge deal for me. you know, this is a huge deal for me. This I only had, I only had 64 gigabytes. And with the amount of photos and things I do on my phone, like just like all the apps I have, like social media, all the drafts I have on TikTok, you know, it's like, it yes, was, I was tough. I went from 2,000 drafts to 400. I'm so, I'm no, I'm really proud of myself. I've been Wait, cutting down. I, okay, yours is more impressive than me, but I went from 1,000 to 600. And now it's only a little bit above 500. So we're getting there. We're, we're getting there. We are. This is progress. Yeah, it is. It's amazing. I have a, I have a draft of the two of us that I want to post. It's very cute. Send it it was, we're trying not to do the, when you lip sync, like, yeah, yeah. Like the head bob, but we're failing miserably. Yeah. That's because what I from us. What song is it to? Probably like a neighborhood song or something. Probably. I don't even know. Well, text it to me later. Yeah, I will. I will. Don't fret. Can you read me things? Yes, I can read you things. Um, how long have you guys known each other? Over, Over a year. I don't know exactly how long, but... I want the want the story of, like, how we came to be friends. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. So, story time. Skirt, skirt. One day, I'm scrolling through my Explore page on Instagram, and I see Shay's profile. And I was like, oh, my God, she's so cool and, like, pretty and, like, cool. So I clicked on Shay's account, and there was a really short quote in the bio. And it said... Growth is a process. You don't just wake up and become the butterfly. And Rupi Kaur, if you know me, you know is one of my all-time favorite poets. So I was like, is this a sign from the universe to be friends? So I DM'd Shay. I was like, I see you have Rupi Kaur in your bio. That's one of my favorite poets. Shadi took like three weeks to respond to me. 
sorry you went in my dm request and then i checked it one day and then i saw yours and then i responded you said you knew who i you knew of my existence yeah because i did <laughs> that's so crazy <laughs> i didn't know you knew of my existence i was like how would you know of my existence so then Shane and i started talking about harry potter that's literally all we talked about it was like our bond because that was like during the harry yeah. potter out phase when everyone was like Lauren. Lauren, I have to interrupt everybody's spamming. Can you see the comments? No. Okay, everybody's spamming. They're like, no, no, Lauren, this is wrong. No, because Gigi introduced us. No, Lauren, we were talking in the Hogwarts group chat. Me to reach out to you. And then I saw you on my Explore page, and I was like, this oh, okay." Now, and, I, and then, but I, I wasn't going to initially. I was like, "I was like, I, that's like weird. Like, I we have no connection. <laughs> like, how am I supposed to do that?" Like, Gigi, like, I can't just do that. And I was like, might as well. And you had the rookie core, and that was, like, the final straw. I was like, oh, wait, period, yeah. Yeah. And then, and then I, because I remember when we were talking about this once we started actually becoming friends, uh, because I didn't respond for, like, three weeks, Lauren, you were like, oh, my God, like, I, I, this is, like, so awkward. Like, she's not responding to me, and I, like, totally just reached out to her. Like, this is what you were telling me, because you're like, oh, my God, this is so awkward. Like, she took forever. Yeah, I was like, why? That's so weird. I was like, I can't, like, why three weeks later? Because I didn't see it. Okay, whatever. I think you apologize. You're like, oh my god, I'm so sorry I didn't see this. Yeah, because I responded right when I saw it. Yeah, and I was like, it's okay, shoddy. Anyway, then we were talking about Harry Potter and, uh, reality. Remember the song you wrote? Can we not talk about this? Can we not bring this up? Guys, can we, like, hey, can we move on? And then we then I got Lauren's phone number and then we were FaceTiming all the time and then we set up a picnic and then I went to Canada to film Babysitter's Club season two and then I started become becoming friends with the other Gobies and then we all started doing game nights together and then it was, it was. Here, we are. here we are yeah last last spring was peak Gobi era no and for like, real and I like, mean it never died it's still peak because Sorry, what? I said it never died. It's still peak, still going strong. But it was like the beginning. Yes. It was our honeymoon phase. It, wa it was. It was. But every is our honeymoon phase. Oh, true. Like, we always have a, a baller time together. It's genuinely like one of the most positive, like, <laughs> I've ever been in. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. Keep reading the things. I literally see nada. I'm sorry. Um, do you guys have any other languages? Yo hablo muy poquito español, pero es no bueno. It is. Yes. You know way more Spanish than I do. I think it's because I took it for three years, and aren't you in... So did I. <laughs> I, I mean, I've grown up in a household. I haven't, I haven't taken it since ninth grade. Oh, yeah, that's... I, you know what I did? I took Latin, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade, and I still remember. So, I Jodie. Ego sum Laurentia. Tu no manes? I said, hi, how are you? My name is Lauren. What's yours? Oh, uh, my name is Shay. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how you say it. Here, what I'm going to start. If you're good, bad, great, or... Okay. Como te habes, Jorie? Are you good, bad, great, or okay? I'm great. So then you would say, optime me habeo. <laughs> Slower? Optime. Optime. Me habeo. Me habeo. Optime me habeo. Optime me habeo. <laughs> Literally. Exactly. It's real, girl. Me and I every know Latin. Class, every single day at the beginning of class, one kid was assigned to ask everyone how they were and they had to have a conversation. I would have to be like, and we all had Latin names too. So I have to be like, Salve Gregoria. Komodo te habes, Hodie, and then she would respond, and then I would go. Wait, so one person would have to go around the entire class, so that one person would have to do like thirty times more talking than anybody else. Why didn't they just do it like turn to your partner and have a conversation in Latin? Because it wasn't as humiliating that way, and public humiliation was all they wanted. Okay, I had a really scandalous years in Latin. I literally despised it. My teacher oh. ate. What? 
my teacher hated me. Like, hated me. Oh, all I, <laughs> all I heard was my teacher ate. <laughs> that was my <laughs> Oh, so she, yeah, she, she was great. But, uh, no, he hated me. Literally, he was like, one time I moved, and my chair made a squeak, and he was like, Lauren, stop. And I was like, <laughs> you're, you're being so loud. You know what my little eighth grade booty did? It stood up and left the classroom and never returned for that period. I, I came back the next day, but I was gone. Okay, actually, I have a similar, uh, kind of a similar story. Basically, um, in sixth grade PE, we had to, like, sit on our numbers on the blacktop. Like, they were just, like, there were just numbers painted on the blacktop, and we each had to, like, sit at one, and then it would be, right. like, roll list. Like, we had a specific order. And you couldn't move off of the numbers until our teacher or our coach said that you could and that we were going to go do like our warm-up laps and so I was just like I was just chilling on my number you know waiting for my roll call name to be called and then a B comes flying towards me and I was like okay okay just chill like if it if it's, if it's not bothering you like don't bother it you know just like let the B let the B be you know but then the B came right at my face and obviously when something comes flying at your face and it's a bee, which you know could sting you, you're gonna move, right? Yeah, that's a normal human thing to do. And so I moved to the side and I got off my number a little bit. And my coach was like, Shay, you got off your number. Go run a lap before everybody else does. And so I had to go down to the field, which was like a whole, a whole walk away. I had to go walk down to the field alone, do an extra lap. And then everybody else joined for our four laps, which, mind you, is a mile. We had to do four laps every morning because I had first period PE. And I had to do five, all because I moved because there was a bee near my face. Shay, I think that's child abuse. <laughs> like, I kid you not. Like, that is literally <laughs> abusive. <laughs> Why would But also, like, I easily could have been like, oh, sorry, there was a bee, but I was just too scared to. Fuck up, Shay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, one time, actually, too, in fifth grade, um, we were doing, like, science, and the guy next to me was like, oh, what page number are we on? Because he didn't hear, and so I was like, oh, we're on page, like, whatever, whatever. I was sure exactly like, go on. And then my teacher yelled at me and made me get up and write my name in, like, the little trouble book. Like, if you got in trouble, you had to write it in a book. <laughs> and I was like, sorry, say, but worse. Bro, okay, but, like, I, I didn't, ex I easily could have gotten out of it by just explaining to my teacher that I was telling the kid next to me what page number we were on. Like, I was helping, helping the whole class be productive, you know? But I just was, like, too scared of confrontation with authorities, so I just, like, I just didn't. That didn't work for me. Do you want the story time? Yes, I do. Fourth grade. We had a foreign exchange student in a class of 31 kids. He was great. He was from Thailand, but he spoke, like, barely any English like barely any English so he was always having a really hard time understanding the teacher and there wasn't like a translator or anyone to help him so he was just always struggling one time he asked to go to the bathroom but he said toilet and she said not unless you can say it correctly I was like that's not okay and so he was sitting next to me and we had those little like cubby things and we were taking a test and mm -hmm. again she starts speaking and like telling the directions very quickly and he's like and he so he taps me and he's like like what so I was, like, slowly, like, speaking them back to him. And she was, like, Lauren. Actually, no, sorry, excuse me. Number eight, me. I didn't have a name. I was number eight. She had number eight. Stand up. I said, you, wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Here's the first, not the first, but one of the hugest red flags. You guys went by numbers? Yeah. No, this was literally the year I went on, like, my medication. This was the year that sent me, like, off the rails. Who refers to children as numbers? A drill sergeant. Anyway, so she goes, number eight, stand up. I was like, she goes, were you just talking during a test? I said, the test didn't start and he needed help with directions. And she was like, uh, doc. <laughs> Nobody closed the door. There was no hand there. <laughs> anyway, I have ghosts. So I was like, um, like, he needed help with directions. I'm, I'm, like, nine years old, but I was, I was never afraid of confrontation is the difference. I was, like, gonna tell, I was gonna defend myself. And she goes, doesn't matter, you were speaking, move your pin. And we had a board of, like, green on the top if you're good, yellow, and then red. I had that in kindergarten. Oh, no, we had that in fourth grade. Lauren. <laughs> Every year. She was, move your pin. So I had to put it to red, because I'd been a bad girl, which means I had to sit out at recess. Like, I wasn't allowed to play at recess with the other kids. 
And then, you know, I hopped the fence. <laughs> you have, you did tell me that story. It traumatized me so much that I literally escaped my school. I hopped the fence. Anyways, then I became like a fugitive and I wasn't allowed to leave the classroom without like teacher supervision. Oh my God. And this poor kid, all he wanted was to know what was going on. And he didn't. And I got punished for it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yours, yours is way worse than my story. I had to write my name in a book. No, I, had to, I was publicly humiliated. This is church. I've, oh my god, do you want to know the sneakiest, most horrible thing I've ever done? Do I? You do. Third grade. Okay. <laughs> this teacher was like, okay. Basically, like, we had spelling tests every week. And if you got it 100% correct, you got a lollipop. She returns my test to me. And she marked me two points off. So I was like, all right, what words did I spell wrong? None. I didn't dot my eyes dark enough. So you dotted them, and they were- I dotted them. She circled the dots, but she said, not dark enough. And I got two points off. I said, this is a spelling test on who can dot your eye dark enough test. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? I don't get a lollipop because of this? <laughs> oh, that's not even the story. That was just a sub, a sub story. <laughs> but anyway, the story of the sneakiest thing I ever did. <laughs> this is what I mean. You turn everything into a story. That was a story. That was just a separate one. Okay. Okay, good point. And this one, it wasn't, like, that bad, but, like, it was pretty bad. So, tests are fun. And there was another girl in my third grade class with the name Lauren and the last name, not Dawn's, but it had a D. D was her first initial. We both put Lauren D on our test. And so my teacher brought us both over, and she goes, who's is whose? One was a B, one was an A. The B was mine, the A was hers. I said, <gasps> Lauren. <laughs> Mine's that one. And she went, no, it's not. That's mine. And I was like, no, it's not. Don't lie. It's mine. Oh, <laughs> and my teacher was like, um, uh, so whose is it? I was like, it's mine. And she was like, no, it's not. And I was like, shut up. <laughs> and so we both got the A. <laughs> I would have been so scared had to be in elementary school. What? I would have been so scared of you in elementary school. Everyone was. Every, everyone, like, avoided me. Uh, uh, <laughs> don't mean to me. It's fine. But, like, I only became popular in second grade when I knocked out my tooth. Then I became popular because I, I was a big girl. <laughs> I was on the monkey bars when it rained. And I slipped and I fell and I slammed my front tooth out. Oh but I was like... <laughs> I was gushing blood. I was like, look at me. I'm so cool. And then everyone was like, wow, you're so brave. <laughs> okay. I lost my tooth eating an orange during lunch in first grade. Shay, how does an orange remove your tooth? If your tooth is wobbly, anything can. True. I remember one time I woke up in the middle of the night and I went, and I just, I like woke <laughs> up, I just like spat my tooth out and I was like, all right, put it under my pillow. And I was like, it's fine. It's like 3 a.m. The tooth fairy probably won't come yet. And then the tooth fairy never showed up. Um, also, you I was want to know why? What? You want to know why the Tooth Fairy never showed up? Hey, I didn't know the Tooth Fairy wasn't real until I was 13. Lauren, stop. The Tooth Fairy is real. Stop. No, you're right. It is. You're... Don't say that. I, I did cry, though, when my mom told me. I, I did, too. <laughs> it was really, really bad. <laughs> I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, don't even get me about Santa. I'm not even Christian. I don't even celebrate Christmas, but I still believed. You know, I wrote him letters every year, even though oh. I was like, I said, I know you will never give me presents because I'm not Christian and I'm not allowed. And I literally have them. It's so sad to read them. It's like so sad. I was like, I know I'm not allowed. I know you don't love me because I'm, I'm not, I don't celebrate you, but, but I love you. Santa loves everybody. I thought Santa didn't love me because I was a Jew. <laughs> Santa loves you. I promise. You Santa, her. You promise? I swear on my life. I talk to Santa every day. I actually just telepathically communicated with Santa. I asked Santa if he loved you. And he said, yes, I love Lauren. <laughs> Thank you, Shay. You're so welcome. You ask if, if, um, if Rudolph likes me too. Yeah, Rudolph loves you. I know that. I asked to Rudolph. 
I'm related to Rudolph. I know. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's why my last name is Rudolph, because... What are the comments saying right now? I'm just so curious, because I can't see any of them. <laughs> well, <laughs> um, no, now, now they're just talking about Santa. People are like, oh my god, I'm dying. Like, that's funny. Um, but... When you were talking about your third grade story, people were just spamming your name. They were like, Lauren, Lauren. Guys, <laughs> let it live. It's fine. I was literally, <laughs> no, I was seven. No, I was nine. No, I was eight. Lauren, you made my mom comment. She said, oh my God, you guys. <laughs> oh my God. You want to hear a really funny one that was low-key a microaggression against me? Uh, do, do I want to hear all these stories or should we keep talking about Santa? I mean, that's up to you. <laughs> How about, like, the masses? Let's, let's, okay, yeah. Do you guys want to hear Lauren's story, or do we want to ask more questions? And now we wait. Somebody said your mom. Great answer to my question, but it's not really an answer to my question. Yeah, for real. Although it is my answer to everything. Somebody it said, is. I love your stories. True. <laughs> True. That story. Somebody said yes. <laughs> Just yes. Okay. Pick a year, yes. actually. I a story from every year, but like, I actually I think this is a good one. The third grade one. It's not a good one. Okay. You, you know Anique. You met Anique once. You know she threw up on the foreign exchange student in first grade. Poor Douglas. Oh my god. He also could barely speak English. Poor kid. He was just like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh no. <gasps> Imagine being thrown out. I remember vividly sitting there. I didn't have a metaphobia yet. I was literally, I got that in fourth grade. But I remember sitting and being like, and Anique was like, and then they both went to the office. Anyways, imagine being a foreign exchange student and that's what happens to you in America. No, for real. Like, even, even just like us. Like, imagine if we went off to Italy and you like don't speak Italian at all and you get thrown up on and you're just I like. Never return. The trauma would be too severe. As an emetophobe. Oh my, oh my god. Should I get you now? Sure. All right, this is the mini question. I'm sitting in class, third grade. I'm sitting on my desk across from. Hey, I don't know why I thought that was a vape. I was like, what? I was like, Shay? It is my drink. Thank you very much. I would I, never. I know you would never. That's why I was like, it's my electrolyte water, Lauren. That looks like milk. But like watered milk. No, it tastes like lemonade. Okay, I can take it. I can it's all the milk. This looks like lemonade. Like watery milk. Or lemonade, sure. Okay, moving on. So I'm sitting in class third grade across from one of the popular boys that like looks like a highlighter, you know, neon under armor clothes. <laughs> you you know what I mean. And he was like, So, are you a Christian? And I was like, uh, no, I'm actually Jewish. And he's like, are you sure? And I was like, are you sure? Yeah, why? He goes, you don't really look Jewish. And I was like, what do you mean? And he was like, you're, you know, your nose, it's like kind of little. And I wish I could say this didn't happen. Like, I didn't even think third graders were aware of stereotypes. Yeah, I'm what? I was like, um what and he was like i don't know my why is my third grade boy voice so weird <laughs> it's so accurate though <laughs> i don't know like they're all like quirky um yeah and then i beat him in a race the next day and it made up for it that's go you i was so fast i was a zoom zoom little kid so was my sister my sister was like there was her and one other girl they were the fastest girls in their grade in middle school too and i was like so why do you get all the athletic genes and I didn't? <laughs> Lauren, I, I, okay, no, 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 no. I was the kid in middle school PE that got hit in the face during every single sport. I got hit in the face with a basketball, a soccer ball, a football, a kickball, a no, dodgeball, what? literally everything. I always got hit directly in the face. Makes sense. Every, every time we played a game. You no, know I was wondering why you always look so smushed. I'm kidding. What? You're the most beautiful human, please. I just, let me make my jokes. Okay. Um, I was going to say the only, like, 
this isn't really a sport, but the only game I was good at in PE was called rocks and it was like flag football but oh my god you're gonna be like you got to like pick up a rock put it down <laughs> paint it put it down <laughs> like flag football you mean like capture the flag <laughs> yeah. yes. Why would it be rock? <laughs> because I don't know but it just was and so basically like we took up the entire field and it was like community game like we got like the other the other periods of PE to do it too um and you take up the entire field and on one side of the field you had like um half of the the frisbees like in a little like goal you know at the very end you have like all the frisbees and then the other half you have the other frisbees as well and basically what you have to do is you have to guard like you have to guard your own frisbees so there, there's like defense and then there's also offense so then the offense goes and they run and they get other frisbees and they bring them back to your side so then you have to get like all the frisbees from the other person's side onto your side and you can get like in jail and stuff and you can like steal people's flags and they freeze it was like a mix of a bunch of games and i was so good at it and that's all that's like, i was just really good at it why frisbees it could be anything but frisbees because we had a lot of them i don't know i mean is it ridiculously windy for no. you Wait, is my Wi-Fi really bad? Because people are commenting that. Yeah, you do be coming. <laughs> no, it's oh. so. Oh my gosh! I hope I don't blow away. Am I still glitching? Everybody's saying my <laughs> Wi-Fi. Rar. So basically, like, did you ever play Doctor? Like, like, in school? like, no, like the game where like one person is the doctor and then everyone else is like get if you get hit with a dodgeball that you get sick and then the doctor has to come and save you but you can't know who the doctor is because if you find out who the doctor is and you hit the doctor with the dodgeball the doctor dies and the game is over and you lose so like mafia but sports sure that's what it sounds like sure because if the doctor dies then i can't they can't revive anybody yeah like the angel what in mafia there's an angel in mafia who tap mafia, one tap angel. Or no, one we tap We called that the narrator. What? We called that the narrator. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can you not hear me? No, I can. I just don't read you. You know, the narrator, the god. I called it god. That's right. The god. We called it the narrator. We called it the, like. Wait, 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 wait. wait. What? My phone was frozen. Okay, sorry, I'm back. <laughs> okay, Every, okay, everybody agrees with me. Everybody's like, the angel? No, it's the narrator. Because the narrator, like, sets the scene and tells the story, like... The, but the narrator isn't the, the angel. What? <laughs> the narrator is like, one tap, mafia, two taps, you're the angel. And the narrator's like, okay, mafia, awaken. And then the mafia's like, She's like, who do you want to kill? And then the mafia goes, pow, pow, kill someone. And it's like, okay, close your eyes. Angel, awaken. The angel will go, ha. Ah. And then they'll be like, who do you want to save? And the angel will save somebody. And it's like, all right. And, and then you have to see if the angel saves No! Right. The doctor saves people. We called it the angel, Shay. Same thing, different name. Okay, I thought you were saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Didn't mean to get so aggressive. So defensive. <laughs> So defensive. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? No. <laughs> like, I swear it's a thing. Like, I played it all the time in middle school. Oh, you're like dodgeball game. No, Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone <laughs> knows what Mafia, mafia is. is. Everyone knows what Mafia is. That's what I'm saying. Everybody knows what Mafia is, but nobody's heard of your Dr. Dodgeball game. That's like rude. Yes, everyone's heard of Doctor and everyone's heard of Mafia. Okay. <gasps> oh, somebody said, guys, it's literally Medic. What are you saying? The game is called Medic, maybe. No. <laughs> <laughs> doctor and Mafia is the Medic. Okay, we call it the Angel. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're dead. Because they're dead. They're dead. A doctor can't save you when you're dead. Only an angel can. If you're dead, you're dead. Unless you're resurrected. Oh my god. Like, hello? <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll it's go not with like 
it's not like you need a defibrillator to like restart your heart. You need an angel to legitimately resurrect you. But okay, because okay. the mafia told you bow, and then the angel is like, ah, unless the angel picks someone else because they got it wrong. It's like all about chance. Oh my God, Lauren! Somebody says I remember. I remember Doctor Dodgeball. You're not alone. Thank you, yes. guys. It could be called Doctor. It could be called Angel. It's a personal preference. No, <laughs> are you back to Mafia? Yeah, I'm just switching between the. <laughs> you know, it, let's. I should. I should do a Twitter poll. I'll do it after the live ends because I lose. I'll cry. No, <laughs> I definitely won't cry. But I will be hurt. I'm gonna do a poll about this. All right, fine. Okay. I can see okay. comments. Okay. But every five seconds. I mean, every five minutes. Let me read questions. Um. Um. Someone um, remember? What? What? Someone said I remember that too, Lauren. See, Shay, I'm not alone. <laughs> Sorry. Read question. I'm trying to find one. Thank you very much. Oh, Lauren, you'll like this one. You're really gonna like this one. Somebody said, do you listen to Chase Atlantic? I was like, is it about Chase Atlantic? Yeah, I do. Shay doesn't. I do. I was Chase Atlantic is amazing. I went to their concert and I lost my mind. I lost my voice. <laughs> what? When did you go to their concert? Um, like August. I went with Anique. Oh. Oh my god. It was very, very so bold. No, I was absolutely raging heavy. And Anika's never even listened to them, so she was kind of standing there. I made friends with some random girl. We were balling out. It was great. That is great. My light is so bright, but now it's too dark, and I don't... Okay. I don't know if you already know. <laughs> but girl, I got the feeling that you know now. Sorry. Is that Chase Atlantic? Of course. Of course. Of course. I question that. I don't, I don't know. Y'all need to stream heaven and back ASAP. Lauren, you notice me? I'm going to cry. Don't. <laughs> don't. Don't do that. Malia, Malia just said, oh. <laughs> Malia, hi Malia. What? Oh, what does the wall say behind you, Shay? It says, hold to another universe, come on in. And it's actually, it's actually kind of funny because through that door is my sister's room. So That's she, good. another universe. You should wait, you should have put that on the door. There's not enough space. Oh, because I was like, that stack would have been like, super. No, I know, but it's to the doors. I mean, mm, no. Hold to the universe. You should go. We're tired of you. Sorry. Please don't leave. I'll follow you. Fine. We can go explore it. Okay. I've actually, I used to, like, make a joke where I'd be like, oh, I'm going to go into that other universe. And then I just kind of, like, ram myself into the wall. <laughs> Honestly, shifting tactic 101. That's, I told you to use that as a method. I was like, just imagine that's what you're using. That's a portal. I don't think that would have worked. I think it would have if you just put your mind into it. Okay, maybe I'll do it and I'll let you know. Imagine if one of us just shifts one day. Honestly, I feel like it would be you. I feel like it'd be you. I haven't done it in like a year. Yeah, but you came so close. I don't know. Whatever. We'll see. Well, do you have any questions that you'd like to answer? I know you can't see any, but you could just, like, make one up. I can't, like, what? What's your favorite show? Right now? Sure. I binge shows like nobody's business. Currently binging, like, three. Currently binging H2O for the eighth time. Currently binging Euphoria, which is really good. But if you're not, like, 16, don't watch it. It's a little graphic, a little brutal, a little traumatizing. Anyway, um, uh, currently watching, what did I just finish? I just finished a few shows. You loved it. True. Loved it so much. Um, Tiny Pretty Things. It's a random ballet dancer show. And it's oh. honestly the most cringy thing I've ever seen in my entire life. However, it's also so addicting and I really loved it. 
Great. Would you like to hear my... Yeah, go. Okay, so right now I'm watching Daredevil with my dad. Oh, Aaron was talking about that. It's so good. You should watch it. Also, very violent. Um, but Love it. it. What else am I watching? I'm re-watching The Amazing World of Gumball, which is so amazing. You don't know... You don't, you don't know what that is? No. You the didn't grow up... You didn't grow up on this show? Gumball? It's on Cartoon Network. It's like the little blue cat and he has the like brother Darwin who's like a little goldfish. Let me show you the shows I grew up with and that I watched until like 15. No joke. Okay. The Backyard Against, Miss Spider, Some Catch Friends, Olivia. What's it called? The little blue guy, Blue Clues, Blue's Clues, uh, Wonder Pets. Uh, what's until the age of 15? Maybe 14. 14 or 13. 13. 13. 13. Don't. Don't. Also, I just rewatched The Spider Sunny Patch Friends last year, so. Shay, okay, really. How have you never even heard of The Amazing World of Gumball? I don't know. I never watched. Look, Lauren, Lauren, Lauren. Here's what I'm saying. How do you have the sense of humor that you have and you've never watched a second of The Amazing World of Gumball? Like. Drama. Like, I think if you. <laughs> Lauren, I think if you watch this show now, you would find it very funny. And I was just texting Brie about this the other day because Brie and the character Darwin in the show, literally the same, literally exact same personalities, so similar. I changed Brie's contact picture to a picture of Darwin because, because of the similarities. And so you need to watch it because it's so funny and it feels like a fever dream a lot of the time, but it's really funny and you should watch it. You know what's a fever dream? Adventure Time. Never watched it too afraid. It's creepy. I don't like the way the cartoons are made. Like, that kind of cartoon freaks me out. And the, the like, box trolls? Mm -mm, I will never watch that. But, the fact, okay. I will also never watch Gravity Falls. No, too creepy. <gasps> Lauren! Mm-mm. You heart. You know what's a fever dream? The movie Rango, where it's, like, a drought, and it's, like, a gecko. Yeah! Like, I'm sorry. I have, like, okay. a very, 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 very vague memory of watching that. Lauren, you want to know something really funny about the movie Rango? When I was younger, um, I couldn't decide what my favorite movie was. I was like, I don't know. There's so many options. You know, it's the same kind of way that I am now. Like, I have to write down right. a list. I still have, like, 20 favorite because movies. Like, I go in one. And so somebody asked me that on the spot. And I, I was, like, um, like, racking my brain trying to figure out what a good movie was. And I had just seen Rango. And I was like, Rango? And then I stuck with that for like four years. And anybody who asked, I was like, what's your favorite movie? I'd say, Rango. <laughs> you know what I stuck with? Because somebody asked me the same thing. It was a movie, I don't remember what it's called, but it was about like saving the whales. Very Molly, no good nick of me. But like, it was literally like cold and the whales were dying and they were like, save them. And I was like, that's my favorite movie. I hated that. <laughs> A very boring movie, but that's all I that's all I said for like a year. Now okay. I say like Interstellar or and then there were none because those are so good. True, you know. Okay, Interstellar mm -mm. broke me. Another movie that I used to say was my favorite, which definitely wasn't my favorite. Fun fact: actually, also started with an R. It's the movie Rio. I'm pretty sure it's called Rio. It's oh about my the gosh, Rio. <laughs> another fever dream with the parrot the blue parrot yeah <laughs> and it was two movies they're both fever dreams barely remember them both start with r's and i used to use them as my favorite movies stop it that's literally whoa you just sent me into a, an entire memory rio had like a little blue parrot girlfriend yeah they were such a cute couple love that actually, that was a really good movie i kind of want to rewatch it now yeah wait that movie Coraline is always a, a classic good one Yes. What's another, like, fever dream movie? Yo, yo. It might be from Cartoon Network, but there's, like, a yellow moose, and he'd be like, are we there yet? <laughs> Car. What? It was a yellow moose with brown antlers in a car, and there was an are we there yet song where he said, are we there yet? Like, every five seconds. And I was, do you know what I'm talking about? No. Does anyone know what I'm referring to? Because this is ingrained in my mind and I can't get, like, get it out. And I just don't know what it's from.
Is that just a me thing? Yeah. <laughs> no, please. Somebody needs to back me up here. Someone goes, what? <laughs> what? I have a dream that's, like, very specific to me. Like, I don't think you'll... You're going to be very confused if I try to explain this. But I can, if you would like me to. Wait, are you explaining a dream? What'd you say? No, like, like a fever dream memory. That, like... Okay. Actually, it's caused me so much distress over the years because I remember it so vividly. And it's like a thing of my childhood. Like, it was my favorite thing. But nobody in my family remembers it. <laughs> Can you... <laughs> it, like, causes me so much distress. Basically, um, we had, like, a desktop computer in, in this room. That's not my sister's because it used to be our playroom. And it used to be my mom's office as well. And so her computer was in there. And my sister and I would play, like, computer games on it all the time. And so... We play like Animal Jam, like Moshi Monsters kind of stuff, like, you know, all, all the good things. But then there was one that was like an actual app that was installed on the computer and it was a game. And it had like really low quality graphics because it was like the early 2000s. Maybe not early. That's an exaggeration. I was born in 2005. I the 2000s. <laughs> the 2000s. And it had like really bad graphics. And there was this like mouse and you could you could draw stuff on the program and then it, it would like take you to other rooms and, and there was like so much more to it. But my point being, I've brought this up to my family so many times and Wait. nobody remembers it. You can nobody. draw, right? Yeah. And it was like you were drawing whatever you wanted on a white screen and it had like a yeah. border and options of like you could fill it in with the paint yeah I know exactly what you're talking about because I did this on my computer at school um in elementary school we I did this all the time I don't know what it's called but I know what you were talking about oh my god like I, it was so fun like you could draw whatever you wanted yeah but there the, no but there was more to the game it wasn't just drawing oh mm, what was it <laughs> Did you ever play Fireboy and Water Girl? Yes. I was always, isn't it? I would try, I'd be like, skirt, skirt. But I was always usually Fireboy. Me too. Rawr. Rawr. High, high five. Yeah. I don't know what it was called, the thing Shay is thinking of. I, If Shay knew, Shay would say. But Shay doesn't know, so Shay won't say. I, d I don't know. But I, I hope I'm not crazy, and I hope that was a real thing. I, it no, totally was. It, it wasn't Gardic phone. Who? It, this is this, like, this drawing game thing that you can play with your friends, and somebody was like, Gardic phone? No, I definitely wasn't playing that at the age of six. Right. Yo, y'all rocking with Papa's Cupcake Aria? Yeah. I have like an infatuation with those games. It's an illness. Yeah. I used to spend like multiple hours a night playing those. I should play them again. We should play them together. Joker. It was my Joker. We will. Yeah. Now, which one was your favorite though? Cause there were so many. Oh my gosh. I don't know. Freezer Rio was a good one. Cupcake Rio was probably a classic. Hated Sushi Rio. It didn't work. It was not. <gasps> the way it was rolled wasn't as satisfying as I wanted it to be. Um. I I liked um I hated Wingeria too. That was weird. It's the pasta one. Pastaria. Eh. You st I can't find them anywhere. The games are gone. How do you still play them? They're gone. They're gone? I can't find them. I haven't played them since like middle school. I don't know. Yeah, I was searching like a month ago. <laughs> Couldn't find them. But you know what I do love? Huda Math Games Escape Rooms. Escape Games? The Huda Math Escape Games? What? Are y'all actually? Because, excuse me, you can be 20 and play Papa's Cupcake Aria and, be okay, and that's okay. Uh, you can be yeah. 20 and watch The Backyard Again and that's okay. Yeah. I say you chill. You take a breath. You step back. You regroup. And then you come back. Lauren, Lauren, were they just asking our age, though? I don't know. Fine. Lauren, How old are
you're 17 and I'm 16. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Spider Man. Spider Man does whatever a spider can. I'm I'm going to uh, see Spider Man again tonight, and I'm very Before excited. Months. I also might have to end the live soon because I do have to leave to go I see the movie. <laughs> I have to go do my psychology homework soon. Not yet, but soon. You maybe I should. Thought... What? I said you maybe should do that. Well, end it at five. That's three minutes. Okay. We have three minutes left. Everybody ask all the questions that you want. Go Zoom. Okay. Go everybody Zoom. saying that you can go on to cool math games and the Papa's whatever but games are still there. Like Adobe Flash and it never works. <gasps> oh, yeah. Because Adobe Flash doesn't exist anymore. And also, like, okay, I used to play on this website called Girls Go Games. And I oh, loved the Okay, no, 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 but now you can't play half the good games on there because of Adobe Flash, because they outdated what? it. Why is it being like that? I don't know. I don't know. That's literally misogynistic. <laughs> I know. Girls, girls go games, really? It couldn't have been on boys go games that they got rid of Flash? Literally, like, women have nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we deserve better. I Stuff you say just isn't true. Yeah, I know. It's I have this thing that I do sometimes. It's like sarcasm. <laughs> you know? It's a fun thing. I enjoy it. No, I actually don't know what that is. I didn't think so. Oh, I sarcasm just then. Oh. <laughs> Sweet Shay. <laughs> you remind me of my dad. <laughs> you and Papa Paul radiate the same, like, energy. It's so sweet and pure and so awkward. <laughs> I love it. Oh, my God. Oh, I don't know. I find myself to be really funny sometimes. Oh, no, me too. <laughs> I feel like that's... Wait, 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 wait. With yourself, you find yourself to be funny or you find me funny? You're oh. probably talking about yourself. Probably, yeah. But yeah. I'm pretty funny too. <laughs> it's a Leo. Mm -hmm. No, I promise I'm genuinely not as conceited as I pretend to be. It's like an act. No, I feel like every time that a camera goes on you, you're like a completely different person. Like, guys, no, no, Shay, no. that is the worst thing you could ever say. What? Now they're gonna be like, she's a fake. <laughs> Can you like defend me now, please? <laughs> no, I didn't, I didn't mean it like that. Please. <laughs> please, what did you mean it? Like, I'd love to know. You just like, I don't know, you just like tell more stories and you're like a little bit more hyper than you usually are because, because like- I'm talking to the masses. <laughs> I'm telling the stories to the masses. I'm not going to tell you the stories. You've already heard them because I told them to you already. I'm telling it to the masses. I didn't I didn't mean what I said. I take it back. I take it back. Yeah, Lord. you bet. Retract it. But Slurp back. You're a very genuine person. You mean that? I do mean it. I do mean it. I, I'll take I it. <laughs> that was so oh, Okay. One thing that doesn't change at all is is your humor. You are the same level of funny in real life as well. Which is great. Ow, I just really punched myself there. Thank you. You're so welcome. That's so nice. And also you are sometimes a little bit hyper in person, but it's very fun. It depends on how much caffeine I've had and how much span of time and how much I've rested and how it really it's a mathematical equation. And what we're talking about. So true. Sometimes I'm, like, lethargic. Sometimes I'm, like, yeah. And then sometimes oh, I'm, like, that's, okay, Lauren, <laughs> Lauren, that's what I meant when I said that you're different, because, like, in person, when we're together for, like, five hours or something, it's not all just hyper. It's, like, um, sometimes I need a minute. I'm human, too. Yeah, we're, we're, I, we're charged. My battery will empty, and I have to refill it. 
Exactly. That's that's all I meant. I didn't mean it like a bad thing. I know you didn't. And I appreciate I might I might actually have to end the live. Yeah. It's all on you. It's your live, so you have to do the the honors. Imagine if I just did it like mid sentence. I mean that'd be kinda of fun. Spicy. Are you gonna save this? I don't know if you should. I feel like it's not a special. Do you want me to? I don't have to. I, I think it's up to you. I think it's your call. I never save my lives. Like, I never have. But it's up to you. It's a personal choice. Because what if I accidentally said something problematic and it, it saves? Because I always say things. But they're not problematic because I'm a good person. But... <laughs> yes. See, I'm spiraling. You have to help. Do you want me to just end it? Just end it. Just go. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>